Hi Virgo, we're gonna get straight to your reading. We're gonna find out how does your person in mind feel about you right now. Spirits and angels, please show me. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Your person could be feeling dissatisfied right now or that they could be feeling that you are dissatisfied with them. Something about feeling rejected. They may be feeling rejected by you. Um, we've got the Star here, the Temperance and the Ten of Swords. So your person in mind is actually feeling really low, really down. And um, they could be going through healing and recovery right now with the Temperance and the Star. However, they could also be feeling that you are going through healing and recovery right now and perhaps they have made you really sad. Um, there's a separation energy here, Ten of Swords. Perhaps you and this person has ended, your connection with this person has ended. And Virgo, it kind of feels like with the star, the temperance, I, I definitely feel that they think you are a missed opportunity because they actually feel like you are a good person. But something along the line with the four of wands here, and my verse five of swords and my verse, uh, this is what I'm getting here. They feel like you are untouchable because the star and the temperance feels like your vibration compare, uh, compares to this person is definitely different. You vibe really, really high while they vibe really low. So they may think you are out of their league and that you are again untouchable. That's what I'm getting here. And the King of Cups, they have feelings for you or that they do care about you. We've got the Queen of Wands. They feel like, if you look at the King and the Queen, the Queen is looking towards this way and the King is looking towards the Queen of Wands. So they feel like you're looking towards the future. Um, possibly turning your back on them because, well, in a way, the Queen of Wands, um, I'm not saying the back is facing the King of Cups, but the face is looking the other way, not looking at the King of Cups. So in a way, uh, it does feel like they feel you're powerful now and that, that you're more powerful than them. And for some reason, the King, the way the King looks at this, this Queen here, is like full of admiration, full of respect. Um, just because maybe you stood up for yourself, maybe you spoke your mind, perhaps you're not really paying attention to them and you're paying attention to your future, your well-being here with the uh, temperance and the star. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here for your reading of Virgo. Your person generally feels that you are untouchable, yeah? And the Page of Pentacles here is in reverse and we've got the sun. So they're seeing things very clearly now for who you are. Um, and the sun also is a very positive energy, but it is surrounded by these cards here with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Wands. So you're making them feel really unstable. You're making them feel defeated. You're making them feel like they love you even more or that they respect you, they idolize you because you stand your ground or that um, you, your energy is so positive with the sun here and the star and the temperance so positive and you vibrate so high that they feel like they cannot do anything about this right now, that they cannot touch you, they cannot make you feel otherwise. So I feel like this reading is for those Virgos who vibe really really high okay um definitely very attracted to you because the queen of wands is to me a queen of attraction let's see just a little bit more virgo three of swords here is in reverse yeah 
they feel like they would like to heal this connection with you or perhaps you have for some of you you may have some healing energy um hmm. the way you are it makes me feel like you're setting an example okay you're setting an example of how a person should be or how a partner should be or how a friend should be and we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords. Look, we've got the King and the Queen. And the Queen is in reverse. So that means, especially if you are the uh, feminine energy, it doesn't matter. Feminine or masculine, we all have both. But I feel like maybe you have stopped caring. You have stopped investing emotionally in this person. And you've, you're on your way out of the door or that you've already walked away from this person but they definitely would like to make peace with you they feel like they need to clarify certain things to you or make you see them in a different light because you're not seeing them right now you're not looking at them right now with the queen of wands looking towards the right while the king of cups is looking towards the left Overall, Virgo, I just feel like your person, you have set an example, really, really good example for this person, to this person, because maybe of the way you handle things, the way you project yourself, um, and just your energy alone, Virgo. They feel like they cannot manipulate you, five of swords here in reverse, they can't do anything to you. Uh, it's almost like you will be unfazed right unfazed by the uh, malice or by them trying to hurt you all right Virgo this is your reading I'm gonna head on to the second uh, earth sign which is Taurus thank you so much for watching Hi Taurus, welcome and we're going to get your reading started right away. We're going to find out how does your person in mind feel about you right now. Spirits and angels, please show me. Three of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Your person in mind feels suspicious, especially Taurus, if you've been showing to them or on your uh, social media that you're happy and you're taking good care of yourself with the Ace of Cups here. Um, you're suspicious because we've got the Page of Swords here in reverse. They're wondering if this is a front. They're wondering if this is real because we've got the hangman here. So they ponder about your happiness or the way you're projecting your positive energy towards people or it could be just you radiating with positivity that uh, perhaps because of the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse, maybe between you and this person there was some sort of a miscommunication or perhaps your person in mind uh, may be a little bit immature. Um, two pages here. So I feel like Taurus, this person either could be younger than you are or that they could be kind of immature or don't really know how to communicate efficiently or appropriately uh, this person is uh, could be a uh, could be a water sign pisces cancer or a scorpio could also be a libra gemini aquarius piscean or um a leo scorpio can be any sign okay and taurus i feel like again this is the sun is the major kana the death is also major kind of in reverse so they are suspicious again with the page of swords and the seven of wands here they wonder your person in mind could be wondering if this is for real are you really happy um are you holding grudges towards them still are you doing this uh just to 
push the buttons are you doing this out of um, or being vindictive so I do I do sense them questioning that it does feel like with the ten of swords here in my verse both of you may have had an ending or some arguments disagreement misunderstandings and three of cups here in my verse can indicate and what at one point in time between you and this person um, both of you have socialized together both of you have had uh, celebrations together uh, both of you were happy together Prob probably share uh, a few mutual friends i mean this person could be anybody could be a friend could be uh, a romantic partner could be a family uh, member could be anybody they feel like with the seven of wands here that you could be protecting yourself from letting them in to your life um and you possibly could be sharing um your life now um, positivity or some of you could be traveling or thinking about traveling or perhaps for some of you have been posting a lot of um, codes or happy pictures and they're suspicious of it with the page of swords here in my verse all right Taurus this is your reading I'm gonna head on to uh, the next sign for Capricorn thank you so much for watching I'm going to shuffle these cards. All right, Capricorn, we're going to get straight to your reading. We're going to find out how does your person in mind feel about you right now? Spirits and angels, please show me. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Your person in mind could be feeling that you are somebody really good, a kind person, or that perhaps you have taught them something, they have learned something from you. We've got the Fool here, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Your person could be somebody like you are Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or could be an Aries. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, any fixed signs. Oh, I'm seeing fire here as well. Fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I feel like your person with the moon here being the major kind and the fool. It feels like... Okay, so the higher fun and the justice, I feel like you are teaching them a lesson and now they're not very happy about it because maybe the page of wands here in reverse is a messenger maybe they are thinking about reaching out to you or perhaps they have reached out to you and you may be greeting them with silence with the moon here you may not have been replying to the messages or perhaps um, very slow at replying or very little little communication if any at all okay and cap i feel like that makes them really really unhappy they could be feeling that you are teaching them a lesson and plus we've got the wheel of fortune here so wheel of fortune it's a karmic wheel so they feel like you purposely are doing this to teach them a lesson okay and then the six of swords here they feel like they would like to move towards karma water with you they feel like they would like to offer you uh, something something that is of value to you whether it's an apology um, or a gift or uh, a commitment if this is somebody uh, related to your romantic situation and the Aries energy here with the full they feel like they would like to have a new start with you let's start over that kind of an energy and we've got the Queen of Cups here they do care about you they feel deeply for you because the moon is a deep emotion um, 
on the justice making things right they could be feeling like they would like to make things right with you with the wheel of fortune in hopes that your connection with them would head to a different and more positive direction and with the queen of pentacles in reverse this is you they feel like you're ignoring them right now or that you are no longer invested in them perhaps you have liberated yourself from them and teaching by and also teaching them a lesson maybe they feel like your absence your you may have stopped contributing in their life that has made a huge impact on them and that has that could be leading them to feeling like they need to ask for a second chance with the will of fortune here and make things right with you all right capricorn this is your reading i'm gonna head on to another sign i I think the next sign will be yeah, Sagittarius of Fire sign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here again soon. I'm gonna shuffle this deck. Sagittarius I'm gonna get straight to your reading we're gonna find out how does your person on your mind feel about you right now spirits and angels please show me four swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck such so i feel like your person on your mind right now is curious because the hermit the light is shining towards the queen of cups i mean sorry the king of cups doesn't matter king or queen is not gender specific so it feels like they would like to get some answers in regards to how you feel about them they wonder if you care about them they wonder if you love them give me a moment i would like to drink some water okay it's almost like them feeling that they need to know they feel like they need to know because the magician here is manifestation they feel like if it has worked i hope that makes sense to you if whatever they have been doing or not doing has it worked on you does it have an effect on you um, and we've got the justice here justice can decay karma so for those of you such it feels like with the ten of cups in reverse that could be some trouble in paradise and again your person on on your mind right now can be anybody could be a friend could be an ex could be somebody you're romantically connected with currently could be a co-worker could be your boss anybody okay whoever you have on your mind right now so i do sense with the four ones here they feel like they would like to make peace with you they would like to reconcile with you maybe in the past with the moon here there have been some i would say either some confusion or misunderstandings because the star here in my verse indicates forgiveness somebody needing to forgive somebody somebody finding it really hard to forgive and perhaps there have been some feelings who have gotten hurt okay they could be feeling hurt by something by you or that they could be feeling that um they have hurt you either or whatever the case is such they whatever they could be could have been doing to you or said to you or didn't do for you or didn't say anything at all especially if they have ghosted you could be anything because we've got the hermit here so it feels like they want to know if whatever they've been saying or didn't say or done or didn't do has it worked on you does it have an effect on you perhaps the justice here they would like to make things right or that they could be feeling that you should be making things right with them mm -hmm. 
four of swords here in reverse indicates that your person in mind is thinking a lot about you. They could be losing sleep over you, uh, feeling really restless. Mm, they wonder if you if they could forgive you or that they wonder if you could forgive them either or it could go vice versa but the four ones in the middle of the spread here for me indicates them feeling like they would like to come back together with you and with the queen of wands it's them um well it could be them it could be you but this is a fire energy so it could be you they could also be feeling like you are trying to teach them a lesson they they could be suspicious of that that maybe you are trying to teach them a lesson and the moon here it's like questioning something right confused they could be feeling confused in regards of certain actions or non-action from you okay or that they feel like they would like to make you feel confused in regards of what they have done or what they're doing or what they're not doing hope that makes sense to you and we've got your person could be a pisces cancer or a scorpio could be a virgo gemini uh, aquarius libra can be any sign all right sagittarius is your reading um thank you so much for watching i'm gonna head on to the next fire sign um uh, thinking aries thank you so much i hope to see you back here again soon this deck Aries all right we're gonna get straight to your reading Aries we're gonna find out how does your person on your mind feel about you right now spirits and angels please show me Nine of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Your person in mind feels like you have changed with the Wheel of Fortune here, that you've made up your mind to move away from them or to move on from them. And the star here in reverse, unless roles are being reversed here, yeah, Aries, I feel like your person feels that it's really hard to forgive or that it's really hard for you to forgive them or to heal from whatever that may have happened between the two of you and your person on your mind can be anybody can be a friend co-worker co or a boss or a family member someone you could be romantically connected with currently okay now the cups you are first they feel like you don't have feelings for them anymore you don't care about them anymore and with the five of swords here they feel really conflicted right now or that they feel that both of you may have had some sort of a drama they're conflicted in regards of returning to you six of cups or apologizing to you and the justice here in reverse they feel like they've done you wrong or that you have done them wrong again it could go vice versa um aries the um knight of cups here in reverse can indicate that perhaps your person on your mind right now could be a pisces cancer or a scorpio could be a libra could be an aquarius could be any fixed signs here with the will of fortune they feel like there just has been way too much um drama or arguments between the two of you too much fighting um, or it could be them feeling like you're not fighting for this connection anymore or that they could be wondering if they should be fighting for this connection. The Wheel of Fortune also can indicate a second chance. They are pondering with that idea of a second chance with you, but in the meantime, they feel like um, these two cards are reconciliation cards, both are in reverse, but they feel like you've made up your mind that you don't want to have anything to do with them 
and then it will take a lot for you to forgive them take a lot for this connection to be healed completely and um, the nine of swords here in reverse they feel really overwhelmed with thoughts um, they're thinking a lot about you but also at the same time it does feel like they they think perhaps they should just also move on from this connection so that they can stop stressing about it and just let it run its course here with the will of fortune but they feel like you have changed entirely as in you are a completely different person and that you don't want to have anything to do with them anymore all right aries um this is your reading um thank you for watching i'm gonna head on to the next sign which is leo hope to see you back here again uh tomorrow take care aries And I'm going to drink some water. I'm going to shuffle your cards, Leo. We're going to get your reading started right away, okay, Leo? We're going to find out how does your person on your mind right now feel about you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Oops. I'll take this. got the um, eight of swords here in reverse at the bottom of the deck they feel like you are blocking them or that they feel like they need some time to think over things they could be feeling indecisive right now or feeling that you are indecisive about them right now and we've got the hangman here they feel like your connection with them is at a pause right now and um, that they shouldn't do anything about this at the moment because it is out of their control with the emperor emma first so your person on your mind could be a fire sign aries sagittarius or a leo strong pisces cancer scorpio mm -hmm, can be any sign the death here in my verse indicates them feeling like in order for this to turn around in order for this connection to be reconnected or to be revived takes patience and it takes silence and the page of cups here in reverse, they feel like perhaps there have been some miscommunication between the two of you or that there has been no communication between two of you. Um, intuitively, they feel like they should leave you alone. They should just let you be unless they feel that you are leaving them alone and that you are leaving them be as well, okay? And with the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Six of Wands, they feel that when it's... When it's the right time, when you feel like it with the Nine of Wands, if you really want to pursue them, then you would take actions. If you don't take any actions towards them, they're not going to take any actions towards you either because they feel like they need to keep silent, they need to keep still and just wait for you to come to them. And the uh, Six of Wands here in my verse, I do sense your person is still interested your person in mind is still interested in you but um they're not sure at this moment if it also wants you more verse if you're as interested in them if you want what they want unless roles are being reversed here and we've got the again eight of swords here in my verse yep they don't want to think about it right now i feel like they just don't want to stress it they feel like there is nothing they can do about this situation if you would like to return <clears throat> if you like to take action towards them then you would do it uh, if not they're just gonna let it be for now they feel like this is the right thing to do <clears throat> it feels like a strategy in some way shape or form because the six of wands is somebody who has gone to war and come back 
uh, victorious, right? So to them, this could be a battle, this could be uh, a strategy, a plan, so that they could win in the end, okay? Leo, this is your reading. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to head on to the next sign. And I hope to see you back here again soon. Tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> next sign is Aquarius. I'm going to drink some water. And shuffle your cards. Chris, we're gonna get straight to your reading. We're gonna find out how does your person on your mind right now feel about you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So many court cards here, court cards here. They feel like with the Four of Cups here that you have a lot of options and you can be a little bit picky. Um, your person on your mind right now, Chris, can be anybody. It could be an ex, could be a friend, could be a family member, could be ex, an ex-friend, <laughs> could be a co-worker, a boss. Um, anybody, okay? But I feel like this person most likely could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, or a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, with the Queen of Pentacles here. Your person on your mind right now is very, very, very interested in you. They have, they find you very attractive. One second, Chris. <coughs> I'm just switching off my AC. <laughs> so cold. That's why I'm coughing right now. But um, your person on your mind finds you to be very attractive, very inspiring. Because the fire energy can indicate passion, desire. And we've got the um, Eight of Swords here in my first. They're overwhelmed with thoughts of you. If you've been thinking a lot about this person lately, this person is also thinking a lot about you, okay? The Wheel of Fortune here is in my first. So there is the stuck energy going round and round and round in circles. And with the uh, in, on your mind, because the Ace of Swords, the sword can indicate thoughts, right? Information. So they're, they're thinking a lot about you. Um, the Queen of Wands here looking towards the right while the King looking towards the left. They feel like both of you need to talk. Both of you need to have a conversation because the King is looking the other way while the Queen is looking the other way. So perhaps both of you are not really on the same page right now at this moment or that they feel like both of you should come together and be on the same page and to get some clarity to hash certain things out or to clear the air just give me one moment Chris. okay drinking more water seven of wands um in an upright position two of pentacles and the four of cups here i hate to say this aquarius but I feel like your person could be feeling that either two of pentacles that you're a little bit too hard to handle. <laughs> you're a little bit too hard to handle and seven of wands and you have a mind of your own and you have your principles, you have your boundaries that you don't want them to cross. There's this um, fiery energy that I feel with the Four of Cups also can indicate that it's they could be feeling like it's really hard to please you. It's really hard to satisfy you. And look at the Four of Cups, right? This person's hands are, are folded. And that perhaps you're a little bit too hard to handle or that you, you, you're a lot of work for this person. 
okay and the queen of pentacles here however they feel like you are somebody that they can rely on that they trust and uh they find comfort in you they find um a sense of uh, familiarity with you perhaps both of you share the same hobbies or share the same interest i sense them feeling like both of you need to talk yeah um, Ace of Swords, especially if this is someone relatively new in your life, perhaps both of you need to get to know each other better. They could be feeling that way. If you've known this person in a, for a while already, um, they feel they still feel like there's something that need needs to be sorted out between the two of you, so that both of you can have this new start and move forward. They could be weighing the pros and cons in regards to being with you. Um, how to also set their boundaries or they could be considering the boundaries that you have set for them okay Chris this is your reading I'm gonna head on to this the next sign I believe it's uh, Gemini <laughs> thank you so much for watching I hope to see you back here again tomorrow looking for a Gemini. <laughs> I actually put them together properly. I don't know why it got all jumbled up, but anyway, I'm gonna shuffle your deck. Gemini, we're going to get your reading started right away. We're going to find out how does your person on your mind right now feel about you. Spirits and angels, please show me. Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I'm gonna drink some water, Gemini. I'm getting this energy with the Justice um, and with the Queen of Swords here. Your person on your mind right now feels like you're punishing them because the Justice is a judge, so judge punishes, right? <laughs> For whoever who has done something wrong, perhaps. Who knows, but roles can be reversed, yeah? But I feel like your person feels you're punishing them right now. And it's hurting them really badly with the Ten of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles here in reverse, it, um, the way you punish this person, it could have affected their focus on their daily routine or work. Because Pentacles can indicate money or something physical, something realistic. Um, and Gemini, this can be anybody, yeah? This can be um, anybody, an ex or some, a friend or family member, co-worker, could be a boss. <clears throat> but they're devastated right now with the Ten of Swords. They feel like you're punishing them. And with the, we've got the Nine of Swords here in my verse, Ace of Wands, and the King of Wands in my verse. Hmm. They feel like they need to make you see them. Um in a different light that's what i'm getting here because the ace of wands can indicate reigniting uh, uh, reigniting passion so they want to get you to be interested in them again or to like them again because they feel very unlikable right now they feel like you don't like them okay or that you don't love them if this is someone you're romantically connected to and the two swords here in my verse they feel like you have made a decision or that you are going to be making a decision to cut them off or to tell them off um and we've got the ten of pentacles here they feel like you could be giving them an ultimatum if they want something from you or if they want a future with you if this is a romantic partner hmm i kind of feel like a gemini they just feel like you're really, really tough on, on them. <laughs> but for some reason, with the Ace of Wands here, it is uh, it, in a kind of like a twisted, in a twisted way, Gemini. I don't know why I'm getting this. This is just for some of you. 
like because of your toughness, because of what you can bring to the table. Um, even though if you're mean to them, you you show you're dis you're disliking them, or that you're setting your boundaries, or giving them an ultimatum, they actually like it. They actually kind of like it, or that they respect you for that. With the Ace of Wands, they feel like you're somebody reliable. You're somebody that they can trust. Um, you feel like home, and you're somebody again um, dependable. And they can see being with you or having a connection with you could bring them a lot of prosperity, abundance. All right, Gemini, this is your reading. Hope you resonated. I'm going to head on to the next sign, uh, which is Libra. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here again tomorrow, okay? shuffle your deck Libra let me get some water Okay, um, Libra, we're, we're going get to straight, get straight to your reading, okay? And um, we're going to find out how does your person on your mind feel about you right now. Wow, the Empress at the bottom of the deck. The only negative thing that I would say is that your person could be feeling that you're being a little bit passive-aggressive towards them, but uh, with good intentions, though. <laughs> it feels like, Libra, you could have been biting your tongue lately. You could have been controlling yourself not to say the wrong thing or not to flip out on this person or not to throw your temper tantrum something about you controlling your words controlling your um communication like it feels like the way you used to communicate with them in the past it may have changed um like you're softening, softening up a little bit but still there's a little bit of an aggression there but uh but it's being toned down. Um, it feels like you're getting your message across by not being too aggressive, right? So that's why I said passive aggressive. But your person definitely loves you, cares for you with Ace of Cups. They're very, very excited about going on a journey with you. Some of you, it's a life, life's journey. And for some of you, it's uh, travel because the uh, chariot is right here. could indicate traveling for some of you. And the world here can indicate traveling as well. They feel like this could be a chance for both of you to either get to know each other better or um, to heal certain things. Uh, in the past, maybe giving both of you some time to be able to, with the hangman here in reverse, I'm hearing rest and relax. I don't know. I, I feel like Libra, some of you could be going on a, a, like traveling with this person, okay? If you're traveling with this person, um, your person in mind could be feeling, hey, finally we can relax a bit. Um, we can uh, enjoy. We can enjoy the activities with the world here. And the star here, we can get, again, some pampering, massages and whatnot. And six of wands, you know, we, we just do our thing, you know, like, um, for some of you, six of wands, you know, this indicates success. So that they feel, actually, they feel like this journey that both of you are going on right now is going to be successful or that they're hoping and wishing that it's going to be successful. And if you're going to, uh, if you're going, um, if you're traveling with your person in mind right now, they feel like um, both of you will be able to connect in a different level, uh, a more, I wouldn't say intense, but one level up that's what i'm getting here okay and but i feel like libra 
This could be them also trying to figure out, trying to see with the Empress here if you could actually be the one that they could spend the rest of their life with. Uh, as in, could you be the mother of their children or could you be the father of their children? Doesn't matter he or she, it's not gender specific. Um, could you be the one? That's what I'm getting here. It feels like this road trip or this travel where both of you are going to be spending very, a, a, a much longer time together will give you a chance to again get to know each other better and them getting to know you better and to see if you could potentially be their lifetime partner right but if this is not a romantic partner if this is just a friend i do see that this person could be feeling um that you are yeah you are a bigger person that's what i'm getting here like you are you are the bigger person or that they want to be the bigger person so that both of you could have some peace or both of you could start a new chapter of the world here well anyway this can apply to anybody but i feel like overall your person feels that feels good about you there is a potential for this connection to grow Yep, the hangman in reverse indicates them wanting to see you in a different light. They feel like um, this journey that both of you are going on right now is going to help see if both of you are meant to be with each other, uh, if both of you can start a new chapter together, if this connection will be successful, but they're hoping that it could be, okay? Libra, I'm going to head on to the next sign. The next sign would be Pisces. Yep. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Pisces, I'm gonna shuffle your deck. get some water okay we're gonna get straight to your reading okay Pisces spirits and angels please show me um, your person on your mind right now for Pisces how do they feel about Pisces okay <laughs> you're my last three signs so I'm getting a little bit tired magician at the bottom of the deck your person is kind of confused right now with the moon they're confused as to what do you want what do you want from them that's what i'm getting here but they could also be in their own feelings right now they do have deep emotions for you but i feel like they're hiding it because the high priestess can indicate secrets the magician can indicate somebody you know wearing a false self mask somebody who doesn't really want to show who they truly are how they truly feel i think deep down they do have feelings for you deep emotions for you but they don't really want to show it to you your person on your mind could be a fire sign aries sagittarius or a leo they feel you have already turned your back on them they feel you're not fighting for this connection with the five of wands here in one first maybe both of you had an altercation in the past they feel that both of you are not actually getting along or not seeing eye to eye on things or that they could be wondering if both of you could get along because the moon here it feels like they could be questioning something here right the Nine of Wands here in reverse, they could be questioning or doubting certain actions that they have done in the past um, or certain decision that they have made in the past. They feel like they have let you down, but also they could be feeling that you have let them go or released them. 
because for, especially for those of you Pisces, if you haven't been talking to this person, you've been very quiet, you've been giving this person a silent treatment, they're starting to see your value just because you you haven't said anything i hope that makes sense to you okay uh pisces and this is your energy and i like that the high priestess is in an upright position they feel like now the ball is in your court you're the one sitting in your power right now they find you to be very beautiful uh, very wholesome or that you could um, you could potentially be their lifetime partner or the mother or the father of their children. For some of you, maybe you are the mother or the father of the children. That's just for some of you. Yep, I'm just getting this, uh, Pisces. Your person on your mind right now sees your value, your worth, but they don't really want to tell you, okay? And I think it's also because you've been keeping really calm and you've been focusing on yourself. They feel like you could bring a lot to the table or have brought a lot to the table and they're starting to realize that okay but i don't see them wanting you to know that all right pisces um this is your reading i hope to see you back here again tomorrow i'm gonna head on to the next sign um which is cancer all right Okay, Cancer, I'm going to shuffle your, your deck first. Okay, we're going to get straight to your reading, Cancer. Um, your person on your mind right now, how do they feel about you? Spirits and angels, please show me. at the bottom of the deck your person on your mind could be a fire sign aries sagittarius or leo virgo capricorn or a taurus or uh, could be you as well somebody like you are a water sign pisces cancer or a scorpio hmm. they feel hurt because we've got the nine of wands here or that they could be feeling that they have hurt you We've got the page of swords here in reverse. Whoever you have on your mind right now is actually spying on you. And with the nine of cups and the hangman, they actually, I feel like they're wishing for a reconciliation between the two of you, but they're not doing anything about it. I see them not moving, not taking any actions with the hangman because perhaps they feel like in order to take actions towards you for reconciliation, they may have to sacrifice something. But they do have love for you, they do care about you. They're pondering with that idea of not just offering you love, but also offering you commitment. Their wishes too, of course, with all of these three cards in one verse, I feel like they're delaying this process, they're delaying taking actions towards you, but they really want to be with you with the four ones here in one verse. They are attracted to you, the queen of, uh, queen of wands here. They also could be feeling like they are being watched. I don't know watched by whom. It uh, could be watched by you or watched by someone else. It's like they could be feeling you're watching them while they're also watching you. I hope that makes sense to you. They feel that you are very guarded maybe because you have hurt them or that they could be feeling very guarded because you may have hurt them. There's something, um, there's a bit of a cowardly energy here with the nine of ones, especially if this is someone that you have asked about the future for the both of, both of you. If you ask what, what's going to happen to us, what's the plan for the future, I feel like they could be feeling kind of guarded in regards to giving you um, any answers as of right now because nine of cups it could be an indication of them just doing them at this moment but 
is considering because the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups here is in an upright position is considering offering you uh, commitment or love is thinking about it at this moment okay cancer all right this is your reading i hope uh, you resonated thank you so much for watching i'm gonna head on to the last sign uh scorpio Hi Scorpio, I'm, I'm gonna um, shuffle your deck first. I'm losing my voice already because this is, your, this is my last time. I'm gonna drink some water. Okay. We're gonna get straight to your reading, okay, Scorpio. We're gonna find out how does your person on your mind feel about you right now. Spirits and angels, please show me. Page of um, Swords at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, whoever you could be thinking about right now, this person is spying on you, keeping tabs on you. I feel like that could be because of the Ace of Swords and Lovers. Again, roles can be reversed between you and your person, but I do sense with Ace of Swords and Lovers, there may either have been some miscommunication or no communication between the two of you. They feel like you're blocking them, uh, you're standing your ground. Um, you have your principles, you have your boundaries, you have drawn your boundaries. And three of ones in reverse indicates them feeling that you've already turned your back on them. The higher fun in reverse, they could be feeling that maybe you, you did, that, so did that or could be doing that because they have broken their promises or that both of you could be separated. Um, unless, again, roles have been reversed here. The Queen of Wands, your person on your mind could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with a page of swords here. Could also be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. They are looking at you while you are looking at I don't know why, uh, intuitively, I feel like this could be your person, this could be you, okay? Um, maybe you have earth somewhere in your chart, and your person may have fire somewhere in your chart, or even air, <clears throat> air in their chart. They feel like you're currently focusing on your home, focusing on your money, focusing on your career, or could be focusing on saving money to travel, or you could be traveling. They feel like you're doing your own thing right now and they're watching you. They're constantly watching you here. And with the King of Swords, they feel like they need to strategize. They need to plan. They need to plan on how to get your attention because the Queen of Wands, definitely a Queen of Attention. Doesn't matter, again, he or she, it's not gender specific. Some of you could be in the same gender relationship. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. Um, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Bye.